Today I'm going to show you how I created both of these nail sets simultaneously using nothing but regular nail polish and a couple of brushes. Let's check it out. Starting with my dip base, then here I go in with a milky white to neutralize the pink base of the dip. And I'm going to apply this to all of the nails on my right hand only. And then I will follow up this color with another milky pink to neutralize some of the white and add a bit of a flush to the base. Nothing with what we started, but it'll still look really cute with the orange that we're doing our design with. So then I'm doing this on all of the nails on my right hand only. And once I finish that hand up, I'm going to switch over to my left hand while this one dries and begin applying the base color for the different nail designs I will be doing on this left hand. For this, I'm going straight to the colors I'll be using since aside from this nude color, the other colors are not so sheer. They are very pigmented and it's just a matter of making them match the tone. For my white nail polish, I'm starting in my cuticle area with my detail brush since the consistency of my white nail polish is a bit rough and the brush that it comes with is also not very user friendly. So I try to minimize the amount of work I'll be doing by being detailed in the beginning. Then while this hand dries up, I switch over to my right hand again, doing the outline of the designs I'll be doing on the different nails using my detail brush and my regular nail polish and then going back in with the regular brush to fill in the designs, cleaning up any messes right as I go to avoid having sloppy nails at the end of my nail design and then walking straight out the door. Continue to do my designs on the nails that I wish to add something different to and following the same process. Then I like to work smarter, not harder. So to do my French tips, I'll be using my gummy stamper and adding that as my tool to create a perfectly round nail French. Going back with my detail brush to fix the bulk of the product and adjust the shape of the nail. And I repeat the process on the pinky nail of my right hand. Then we move back to the left hand and I use the same stamper to create an angled V French. And while that dries, I go back to my right hand and add my final touches of this nail design that I'll be doing. Then while the right hand finishes drying up, I go back to my left, finish the angled French design that I was doing, choosing a different color to add a bit of abstractness. And then I go ahead and do a top coat on all of the nails that are ready to go and completely done for the design. This ensures that any designs that I've already done do not get ruined if I accidentally bump into something or touch my nail with the brush or with my fingers on accident. It also gives the top coat some time to dry so that I can mo function more easily with the right hand since it's already done and it'll make it easier to finish off my left hand. Then while that dries, I go back to my left hand, do my finishing art touches. It's just an abstract line to make it a little bit more of a pop of color per se. Then I go through and cover all of the top coat nails with cuticle oil. This helps create a slippery top in case, again, I accidentally bump into something. It's just a matter of swiping the oil off and it does not ruin the top coat. So this is a good trick. If you've not tried this, I'd highly recommend it. Then as I wait for my designs to dry, I realize we're running a little late. There's no time for top coat there. So I just put cuticle oil and just hope for the best on those designs. And with that, we have finished our nail set of square and almond shape 
each on different hands and we're ready to go. Thank you for watching.